change the course of history. The Japanese are planning something bigger. So what's the target? We believe it's Midway. Roland Emmerich's new movie, Midway, is a dramatization of the World War II Battle of Midway and the events leading up to it. The war film's ensemble cast includes Nick Jonas, Mandy Moore, Patrick Wilson, and Ed Skrine. But what's the true story of Midway? In the spring of 1942, just months after the crippling attack on Pearl Harbor, the U.S. intercepted transmissions from the Japanese. They'd cracked the code used by the Empire. Those transmissions included information about a surprise attack on the U.S. outpost at Midway, part of the Hawaiian island chain. As the Japanese fleet moved towards Midway, the Americans, led by Admiral Chester Nimitz, were there to meet them on June 4th of 1942. What followed was one of the pivotal exchanges of World War II. Naval historian Craig Simmons says, What made the Battle of Midway so important was that in the six months that followed the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor on December 7th, 1941, the Japanese had had it pretty much all their way. They conquered most of the South Pacific, which was the primary goal of their going to war in the first place, to gain the resources of that geographical area. But they had also attacked the British in the Indian Ocean. They had sunk several capital ships in the South China Sea. They were absolutely running rampant throughout the Pacific, and it looked like they were almost unbeatable. And then in a critical seven to 10 minute period, on the morning of June 4th, 1942, all of that was reversed. They lost four of their major aircraft carriers in a single day, and the tide of the war was turned. The Japanese forces were routed. Over 3,000 Japanese sailors died in the exchange, while some 300 U.S. servicemen perished. And Midway dealt a blow to the Japanese fleet from which it would never recover. If this went south, if this did not work out, and it was a great risk, we were taking on a larger enemy force than we possessed ourselves. And if it did not work out, the entire course, not only of the Pacific War, but arguably of the global war, could have changed. And how's this for a movie tie-in? Deep sea archaeologists recently found the wreck of the Japanese aircraft carrier Kaga, which was sunk during the battle. This is the bow right here. Mm -hmm. And as you've seen on the video, the, I mean, the bow, you reach up to the point right up to the hawse, and it's, it's mud. So she's, she's buried deep. It was located by a team from Vulcan, Inc. Its final resting place, hundreds of miles off the Midway Atoll, halfway between the U.S. and Japan. We read about the battles, we know what happened, but when you see these wrecks on the bottom of the ocean and everything, you kind of get a feel for what the real price is for war. You see the damage these things took and, you know, it's, it's humbling to watch some of the video of these vessels because, you know, they're war graves. A sobering reminder that behind the Hollywood movie, a real story with real stakes took place over seven decades ago. This is InsideEdition.com.